Lipstick. During the past few years, everyone has been wearing masks. So why wear makeup? Over the past century, however, advertising promised that if you wore lipstick, your lips would be more beautiful than they were before. Lipstick sold as fantasy. This helped the lipstick market grow to an estimated $12.3 billion in 2019. Lipstick has a long history. Ancient Egyptians used to make red paint from a bug that is like a small, red ant. The bug was crushed and mixed with things like fish scales and lead. People used this red substance to create a color of red on their lips. They wore it to show social status. However, it was not very healthy. Even Queen Elizabeth I is believed to have died from lead poisoning. She put on a lot of lipstick, and possibly it was poisonous. In ancient Greece, lipstick was about flirting and sexiness, and after the early Christian church called it sinful, this reputation stuck for hundreds of years. Queen Victoria said it was impolite at the end of the 19th century. But young women would change all that. In the 1920s, lipstick was part of a new culture of beauty. The fashion industry was emerging. Women were exploring beauty and figuring out how to use makeup and lipstick correctly. During the Second World War, wearing lipstick became a symbol of freedom and independence. The Prime Minister of England Winston Churchill said that it improved morale. In Hollywood, in the 1950s, movie stars such as Marilyn Monroe, wore red lipstick. It meant glamour and luxury. Teenagers in the 60s started experimenting with a range of colors. Pink, peach and white became popular. Later, in the 1970s, punks wore black and purple to express antisocial ideas. Today, lipstick comes in many different forms. Some forms are liquid, some are like a crayon, some are like a pencil. And, as communities emerge from lockdown, sales are booming. Putting on lipstick again will be a symbol of returning to life, said former L'Oreal chief executive Jean-Paul Agon recently. And importantly, lipstick is now made from chemicals that are safe for you.